Come with me for a second. You see this new car? This looks like a normal F1 car. But if you go closer, you see that there is no space for a driver. It's just a bunch of cameras that are responsible for driving this car. For the first time ever, I wanna tell you how this autonomous racing car works and why this may come to your house. I have just arrived to Las Vegas. I came here to see a unique type of race. It's basically just like F1, but without drivers. See, a bunch of smart university students got their hands on racing cars and put cameras on top of them and wrote a lot of code to make them go fast, like really fast. 270 kilometers an hour fast. Basically, this is just like an F1 race, but much safer. Because it's all about computers and computers make all the decisions. We don't tell the car exactly what to do. We just tell the car we want it to win. The car decides all by itself whether to turn left, turn right, overtake. That's what's so exciting. We don't even know what the car is going to do. It almost feels like a PlayStation game, except here, one mistake by the computer, one tiny bug, can destroy the entire car. Oh my god, this car is off the road. They lost. This car cost about 700,000, okay? So imagine a bet of this kind, because if anything goes wrong, you lose the car and you crash it, which is not so unlikely to happen today, so. <laughs> what? <laughs> but at some point, these computers will become so smart that they will never crash. They can overtake each other, race and pit by themselves. And here is the crazy part. One day, this car will become an ambulance. Let me explain. TII, the Technology Innovation Institute based in Abu Dhabi, assembled a team with Hippert and Modena and Reggio Emilia University in Italy. With their technology, they could build a racing car, but they could also turn it into an ambulance. Imagine a world where ambulances drive themselves just as fast as these cars to go save a life. Our research is not stopping here, it's just a start. So imagine you are in a, um, in a road accident, you have injuries and you need a smallish car to give you medicine, to, to transport a, a patient, to transfer an injured person, etc. So this is very important for, uh, for that to do. We will be furthering the research on that and hopefully excelling as we're doing today. It's not just ambulances. Imagine drones, airplanes, cars and boats that are fully autonomous. Now that is what everyone is going to build. Next after a car, actually we're working on it, is drones. And then eventually we will be moving along like other types of vehicles, whether it's marine, submarine, etc. I care about seeing this technology being developed to benefit the society. I care to myself, the team, TII, out of Abu Dhabi to have a very big impact and footprint in this line of research specifically. This autonomous race is very, very new. It only started last year, but it has come very far. Today, this technology is used to race cars, but tomorrow, this will save lives.